So Stephen, a couple days off just to rest, recuperate for the body and the mind mm -hmm. after that game against Winnipeg. How important was it to just maybe even get away from the field for a couple days? Yeah, it's always good to kind of, you know, detach, to reattach, give your body a chance to recover and, you know, give guys a chance to kind of get their mental back in, in grind mode. Uh, so I think, I think it helped our team a lot. Uh, it seems like, I mean, each time I come out here and watch a practice, the mood's never low, despite what the record is, and it's not too loose either. How do you, how do you go about keeping things so um, you know, concentrated? I guess the focus here is always so strong, despite what the record is. Yeah, I think I think we got a good group of guys that understand that it's a process throughout the season, uh, and in the CFL season, you're never really out of it, man. You just got to keep playing, and I think we got a good grasp of just coming to work and just you know doing what doing what we can control and controlling what we can control. So that's, that's pretty much the mindset. You got Gavin Cobb factoring into the starting lineup this week. What have you seen out of this youngster as he transitions into more of a, a role in the CFL? Yeah, man, he got a good game. I like his game. Gavin's a hard worker, man. He shows up and he does his work every day. Uh, he knows his stuff. And um, I'm, I'm excited for the opportunity for him. Uh, also, the, the outburst or the, the breakout of Dylan Mitchell last week. We'd all been waiting for it. I think we knew what he could do based on last year, and we finally saw him pop off a little bit in that game against Winnipeg. How big is it for uh, the offense to get him going? It's big, man. He's a major key player in our offense. Uh, and I think, you know, like I tell him all the time, we're going to go as, as fast as you go. Uh, and, you know, I feel it was a, it's a tough start for him. He had a lot of mental things going on, but I think it's like, I, like the, I think he needed a week like last week to get himself going, get himself back in the game. and. Feeling, feeling like yourself. What is it like uh, game planning for a team that did shut out this offense? Lots of extra motivation, I'm sure, and, and uh, lots of time to evaluate the film from that week two as well. Yeah, man, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a work week. We approached it, you know, like we do always. We just we told ourselves this week we was going to bring a little bit more. You know, that was coming up earlier, doing a little bit more walkthroughs. If that was, you know, watching a little bit more film, or that was studying a little bit more. Uh, I don't think we committed to that, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Well, to get Manny Arsenault back here, and Eugene Lewis doesn't seem far away either. But for yourself, one of the leaders and targets in the league, are you finding yourself as a leader in the locker room as this season grows? Yeah, I'm growing. I'm growing slowly. Like obviously, I'm new. I'm new here. I'm trying to get to know everybody and kind of earn the respect of the team. Still, uh, I'm, I'm working. You know, just like everybody else, trying to be the best player I can be. And I think that's you know a major start to it is just being the best player I can be. And I think you know if the guys gravitate gravitate to that, and I can create a you know a helping hand in that way, I will. Talk to me about the growth of your relationship with Taylor Cornelius, you two trying to find some chemistry as the season grows older. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely like I said, it's a work in progress. We are playing new positions this year. We're, you know, running routes with new guys. It's, it's been, a, it's been an up and down patch, you know. So we're definitely trying to figure ourselves out, you know, on offense and kind of see our identity, you know.